Hi, I'm at the Dusty Rose. This is Kentucky Girl. And I don't know if you all know it, but we have an upstairs at the Dusty Rose. And a lot of people miss the upstairs. So we're going to go upstairs and we're going to look at that booth. And Martha, that's Martha's booth. And it's more of a room. But we're going to go upstairs and look at that. Okay, here we go. Up the stairs. Follow the footprints. And remember, when you're in <clears throat> um, an antique store or vintage place, look above you, look behind you, look under stuff. A lot of people don't like to bend down, but we vendors, we have stuff everywhere because we're trying to squeeze as much stuff as we can into our booths and our areas. <clears throat> so. Be sure and look around you. Don't just look at eye level and, and think you've seen it all because you have not seen it all. There's a lot. Now I'll tell you something that I really like that she has is she has this TV lamp <clears throat> and you see it's this horse, this mid-century modern horse. And it's my understanding <clears throat> that when TVs first came out, people thought that, um, you know, it was bad for your eyes to watch TV in the dark. And most people wanted to do that because we were used to going to movie theaters. So they wanted to decorate up the TV and they also thought, well, more light would be good for our eyes. And they came out with all these different animals to do that with. Well, this has got a cushion on the bottom, so I don't know who made it, but there were several companies that came out with these, but I just think that's the coolest. Of course, now our TVs are so thin, we'd have to sit in front of the TV or beside the TV, something like that, but that's really neat. And every time I come upstairs, I wish I had one. I love Lucy. <laughs> Who doesn't remember that episode? What is this? It says, Vintage I Love Lucy Stomping Grapes Salt and Pepper Shakers. Oh my goodness. How cute. $24 in the original box. Wow. That is neat. Look at this wall pocket. That is neat. What does it say this is? Handcrafted. I don't know. It's a gargoyle. Well, that's cool. And then we have a shadow picture. I think that's what they're called. And another one here. Silhouette. Silhouette pictures. Those are neat. And this is Blanco. If you all watched my video about Blanco that I, I got a bunch of stuff from a estate sale. This is by Winslow Anderson from the 1950s. So if you're into Blanco, there's some here. That's Hogdown Milk Glass. Got a baker there. Got some more milk glass, the grape leaf pattern. And these little espresso, well now it would be espresso, probably back then, <clears throat> maybe it was coffee, because the coffee was stronger. Could just have a little bit at a time, maybe, ladies, instead of a big grande mocha or whatever from, <laughs> from uh, Starbucks. Oh, look at these cute little juice glasses. Very cute. Oh, my granny had some of these, but yellow. These salt and pepper shakers, if you remember those. And they're made by Pyrex. Flower frog. Let's see. So I'm just going to give you an idea of the different things that she has. A vintage 
crystal bud vase. Huh. Well, that is neat. That is really cool. Isn't that pretty? Lots of dishes here. Some more milk glass. A little piano, vintage Bakelite. This little piano is made out of Bakelite. 59.50, electric organ. Oh, it's an organ. Well, that is neat. That's really cool. There's so many things, you guys. You just, you have to dig in. You have to get in here and look. Because, I mean, I'm seeing things that I don't see. Because I'm here and I'm in and out and doing my stuff. And, you know, I don't know what everybody has in their booth. So this is kind of educational for me. Well, isn't she sexy perfume bottle? Um, back there's an Anna Lee. Let's see if it says from 1995. I bought some of those. Somebody had some for Christmas clearance and I got some. And look at those metal flies. They're probably ashtrays, but I don't know. Um, oh, and that art glass, and we got some Pez dispensers down here with presidents on them. Bookends, brass, milk jug. And this is Martha's booth upstairs, uh, M-H-H. -H. That's neat. It's a face. It's a face. That's material, but the rest is like ceramic. This is, I can't read it, J something, so know who makes it and then back here in the corner there's things lots of blue stuff oh. look at this flocked pony this and there's old utensils for cooking and I just got a message that my battery's about to die now isn't that just great so I'll do this until it does look at these tin cans old bottles whatever you're collecting I'm sure you're gonna find it here next to the football player. How cute. And this is a coffee pot that looks like a stove. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. There's the lid. That is neat. This is the Franciscan earthware that was really popular. Very vintage. I'm, I'm trying to think of the year. Wow, look at all these old tools. If you're a tool collector, and if you are a tool collector, I'm looking for a manual tool sharpener. You know, you crank it and it's like stone to sharpen tools with.
Look at that. That is cool. Looks kind of Christmassy, but I mean, it's not meant for Christmas. That is mid-century for sure. <laughs> That's a lamp. It looks like a bicycle. How cute. Y'all get tired of me saying cute, I'm sure. I'm going to have to broaden my vocabulary. This is a spaghetti poodle because of the, the lines in it. That's why they call it spaghetti. And there's lots of figurines that are made with that. <clears throat> so it's spaghetti. We have 10 cans. And of course, all furniture's always for sale. A little Bailey's cup. Those are so cute. I have a couple in my booth too because I just think they're adorable. There's a mid-century modern. I wonder if that's made by Hager. Maroon horse head lamp. I don't know. Hager made some of these. Let's see. I don't see anything on the bottom. But that's very cool. I'm not doing this video live because I can't figure out how to download it to YouTube, so I'm just taking a video. Otherwise, if it were live, Martha could get on here too and she could maybe point out some things to me. Well, this is neat. Look at this. It's sort of like lack. It has hair in it. Somebody's hair. antique box with hair dated 1906 wow well you know there's all kinds of collectors in this really there's just all kinds of collectors and people use old hair to make dolls with so there's a lot of dolls that have real hair on them from a long time ago because that's what they had to use so Monopoly game, some trunks, makeup trunks. I used to carry a makeup trunk. I thought it was cool. <laughs> Books of all kinds. Got some really older books up here. They're even in a bag so they don't get ruined. And then in the window, this pretty glass, the lamp. Look at that purple. Oh, and the purple and green together. That's beautiful. Pillows, just anything that you could possibly want. There's a lot of these in throughout the store and there's keys downstairs at the front desk so if there's something you want to see in a locked see it's locked something you want to see just go downstairs or to the front desk and say hey i need to get in box such and such and we will be glad to let you in so we have things that we don't want to get lost or broken in locked areas Oh my god, look at her. She looks like she's so mad. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <clears throat> Back there, some crackle glass. Magazines. And do you remember these? 
dish towels with the calendars on them that used to come out. I don't know what company brought those out or if they came out with, you know, detergent. Seems like they would be in like a box of Tide sometimes or something that you would buy at the store and they would have those in them. <clears throat> Martha has Christmas stuff that she keeps out year round. So if you think of something and you want to look for it, I'm sure everybody here might have a little bit of something, but she definitely keeps some out all the time. We're almost finished with her room upstairs. She has another room downstairs. And then we have a room upstairs that is our consignment room. And each of us can bring stuff in um, to sell if we don't have room in our booth. Like this handmade rug, which is something that I brought. We have a Japanese kimono, another costume of some sort that's very detailed. And, and then it has this that goes with it. There's just a variety of things in this room. It's a toy box and a hamper. Pictures, lots of pictures. If you see anything, come on down. Chairs and cups. Beer steins. Oh, I brought this up here because it just wasn't enough room in my booth. But that is a tree of life. And that one is made in Mexico. They're very popular in Mexico. This is ceramic. And it doesn't have any chips or breaks on it. Very cool looking. I don't know what kind of animal that is. Probably a goat. But it's a candle holder. And uh, I just didn't have room in my booth. It takes up so much space. So I brought it up here. Okay, I don't know how to pause this, so I'm going to have to turn it off. I don't know how to pause the video, so I'm going to have to try to put the videos together, but I just wanted to say bye, and um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you see something that brings back memories for you. That's the most fun about this is... You go down memory lane with a lot of things. Um, so I'll try to do more videos and you can go to YouTube, Kentucky Girl, Elaine Latham, Elaine Matthews Latham on Facebook. Follow me on Marketplace and you can see what all ever I have something for sale. Um, so thank you.